welcome back to our channel. Derek is in here building the bunk bed. So this is to just support the metal. So we have some ducting in here that we need to work around. Oh. Um, there's an outlet over there for the air conditioning. And there's an inlet over here. So we're going to have to run some ducting around. We'll probably have to run like two. So like one here and run one over here. So that way it sucks air from the bus here. And then we'll do an outlet. Um, On that wall. I don't know. I think I might be able to take that outlet and run it towards the front of the bus. Uh, I have to hit up my buddy um, who does air conditioning to see if we can make a duct that goes forward. If we can take that output and put it to just like a round, you know, have an adapter that goes from that to a round duct and run it underneath the bus and have an outlet at the front of the bus, that would be great because otherwise it's just going to be freezing back here and hot up there while we're driving. So now there is an air conditioning unit at the front of the bus, but it's not as big as this one. Um, this one when it's on is like a little mini tornado back here. So whatever we can do to direct these two front outlets. So there's, there's like an outlet back here and an outlet up there. Uh, whatever we can do to redirect those forward, um, we want to do. Because I think there's one there and then I think there's one underneath the shower. So hopefully we can take those two and push forward with those. These two back here will have one come out here and then one come out in the back bedroom. And then basically the bathroom area will just have the, the fan in the ceiling for uh, the vent, which we have to buy. I bought one, but apparently it doesn't have fan. Kind of missed that part. Whoops. <laughs> but they have these those really fancy ones that like automatically open and close with the rain. Oh yeah. But it's like three hundred dollars for a vent. Those are pretty cool. And then it's like, oh, it has fifty two speed options. Like, I don't know if we need all that. I kind of just want it on and off, right? Like, do you need all those options? You're not going to be in here and you're going to be like, oh man, it really feels like, <laughs> it feels like a 43 day, you know? <laughs> so, uh, anyways, we're just putting a cross brace in. That way this bed is nice and tight. We have one here on the end and one over there. That way uh, we don't get any sagging from the plywood. Because uh, the kids are going to be running and jumping and doing all that stuff. They'll probably bounce back and forth. They'll just be complete chaos back here. So we want to build it so that things aren't... You know, they're nice and sturdy and they're not breaking and creaking and all that. So, that's what I'm doing. Smash the like and subscribe. <laughs> Just smash it. Just smash. I it's bedtime, guys. So this establishes the base of our bed. Again, the whole thing is going to lift up, so we kind of need a decent frame for it. Um, we're going to start putting in our floor because the floor needs to go onto the ground, and then we're going to put our trim on top of the floor. That way we have a nice, pretty edge. But uh -huh. it kind of sucks because we're going to have to put these down onto the floor, and then we're basically going to be tripping over them until we build the bed. So... That's a little bit of a bummer, but we need to know where this edge is so that we can start doing the floor. Is it 63? And the side should be 63 to about right. Right there.
what I kind of need is we need to take an orange tape and we need to mark a center line down the bus. So we're getting ready to start our floor because the floor needs to go underneath the trim. That way we have a nice pretty edge. If you look that way, we need to figure out where the floor is going to lay. So from a visual perspective, we need to establish the center line of the bus throughout the length of the bus through the doors so that when you look at it, you know, when you're standing here and you can see all the way down the bus, you're going to see the lines of the floor and we don't want the floor to be going at like an angle because from what I've kind of seen, the bus isn't perfectly square. So we've marked multiple center lines through each door frame all the way to that back bed wall. And now what we're going to do is we're going to pull a tape through all those center lines so that we can establish the center of the bus. And based on the width of our doors and the width of the planks of the floor, uh, we've just been playing with it. We basically found that two panels in the middle gives us just enough on each side to where, you know, there's not like just an inch because you don't want it to be too skinny. You can't do a long run with the floor. It won't lock if it's not wide enough. So it's okay on like a far edge, but something in the middle where you there's know, a lot of wear and tear, you're going to have a lot of traffic. There's going to be movement. The floor will move, um, but you don't want to have something super skinny. So that center line, we're going to have two planks and we're going to want it to go straight through that line down the whole length of the bus. So that's what we're going to do right now. What am I, what are you doing? You need to be in these. Dana doesn't want to be in the videos. <laughs> Nobody wants to see me. Um, maybe if you, like, what? Maybe if you did it in like a bathing suit, you'd get lots of stuff. Oh, no, 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 no. RV that bus. Then we would lose subscribers. <laughs> You keep pulling it to that side. Don't have fun with puppies. I'll be in here slaving away. I'm gonna go check out puppies, guys. I'll leave there to work. Hey everybody, so today we're kind of starting on our floor. So we've established our center line down the bus and we're gonna be following those with these two planks all the way. And visually that'll give us a nice straight line all the way down the bus. Now the little pieces off to the side may not necessarily be straight, but hopefully to your eye, you'll have visual nice straight line. So um the first couple pieces so what we're doing is we're doing what's called a rigid vinyl laminate floor so it's completely waterproof there is no wood in it whatsoever it's about i don't know a quarter of an inch thick it has an underlayment already attached to it so it actually um 
for this specific, so this is Home Depot uh, Life Proof brand. There's other brands inside of Home Depot that they sell. We've put this in our house for the bedrooms and it fares extremely well. It is, ex it is damn near bulletproof. It's completely waterproof. We're not even talking like water resistant. Now in a previous uh, condo, we did laminate floor and that was like a kind of like a particle board substrate. Uh, you get water anywhere near that thing and it swelled. This however is a complete, I don't know, I would imagine it's something plastic uh, material, but it is, you can see the top layer, just how thick that is. And it, uh, it is extremely durable. It's durable to scratches, uh, etc. It has a nice lock to it. It's got a little locking channel all the way down it. And once it's locked together, uh, this stuff doesn't budge. You actually, you, you pretty much have to like break it to get it apart. These little, these little channels in here lock into each other uh, extremely well. So with our center line established, we basically have to start putting in our flooring. And the first couple ones are a little tough because as you're going in and you're trying to put everything together, uh, the whole thing's wiggling around and moving. So what I've done, um, like in our previous house and what I'm doing now is I pretty much put these two together and then I went to one side and that way, um, so this, this has like two edges to it. So there's two different sides. Uh, think of it as like, this is a negative and that's a positive. So I kind of think of it as like this end sticks out, this end goes in. I found that when you're putting this in, it is easier to go into this piece. So you can kind of see like how these two click together. So as you're putting the floor in, this naturally goes in and then locks. I found that it's easier to work into the positives, so negative into the positives, and not the other way around. The other way around, you're, you're just fighting with this little locking channel. Uh, it just does not work. So what I do, um, just from experience in working with this product, is I start with my base, and I establish my negative side, and that way I can tap or push into the floor, it hits a solid piece. Now, at the same time, you don't wanna go all the way solid to a wall. This stuff does grow and shrink with heat. Um, the other thing is, is, I think this is temperature safe up to like 160 degrees or something like that. So I think we're gonna be fine in an RV. I don't know. We've had it in our house and we've installed it onto a slab floor. We haven't had any separation issues. Anyways, so I've established my base floors. I've gone tight to my rail here. So I've kind of got two corners locked in. And at this point, I can start working this way. I can go this way with it and around this corner. So yeah. The next part of all this is I'm gonna, I have to go around our door frames. So it's pretty easy. I pretty much, what I do is I, I take a full piece I push it up to my obstacle, I mark my horizontal cuts, then I measure from here to here, from, not, not to the lock edge, to the surface edge. You're gonna measure this distance and you're gonna cut that into your workpiece. Add yourself a little padding so that this thing can grow. I add about an eighth of an inch, so that's an eighth of an inch on each side, eighth of an inch this way, and that way it gives me a nice tight fit, but with room, uh, you can kind of see I got, I got a nice little room to spare there for growth. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna lock this piece in and uh, we're gonna go from there. All right, a little bit more progress. We got the pieces going that way. We've uh, gone all the way across here. And we are on our way into the bathroom. I really don't know if 
definitely gonna be done on time. What? Huh? You don't think we're gonna be done on time? No. Mm. And I really do have a lot of money invested in our trip already. Although most of the places most of the places I can get my money back within 48 hours notice, so just losing a ten dollar deposit. What do you guys think? Box four? What do you guys think? Do you think that we're gonna have this bus done in time for our vacation? Uh, we leave July 10th. Is this floor easy to put in? No. You're making it look like it's really hard. Yeah, that's my instructions. <laughs> Let me see the instructions. Step one, make bus. Is that what it's going to look like? You made instructions for the bus? Yeah. Yeah. It's a walking kid bus. Wow. Are we going into space with the bus? <laughs> <laughs> That's the one I had. I had it. The one in Hey everybody, end of the weekend update, just to fill you in on where we're at. So the wife uh, didn't really, didn't really like the choice of flooring at first, but after we went back to Home Depot, after loading these all in the truck, this was kind of our best option. So then I got to take them back out of the truck and put them back in the bus. So that's fun. So this weekend we focused on a couple things. We got our walls finished and we did the wiring inside the walls. We have our outlets. Oops. We have our walls on this side. Hi, sweetie. Um, it's time to eat dinner. Okay. So we, we buttoned those up. We have our electrical coming out of the wall right there that's gonna go down into that hole along with the water. So kind of everything going down into the bus will go down in this area. Then we started on our flooring. So we have flooring through the bathroom, through the bunks. Uh, we screwed down, screwed and glued the frame of our bed down onto the floor so that we knew where to put that. So we have all of our flooring in here. We also finished the bunk on this side, the rough framing. We just have our sink sitting here because we have to finish putting the floor there. So that's what we accomplished this weekend, kind of finalizing our floor, getting the floor in, finishing the walls, finishing the wiring in the walls, putting the outlets in, I've also temporarily put a plug on the wiring and tested that. Everything checked out fine. There's no shorts, etc. So that's great. So yeah, next weekend, we're going to focus on finishing the rest of the floor in the bathroom and going forward in the bus and hopefully finishing the floor there. So check us out next weekend. Hope you all had a great weekend and look forward to seeing you guys next week. Smash that like and subscribe. Like, smash it. Like, smash it. Smash, smash it, smash. right? A lot of you are not subscribed. I think we're about to hit 500 subscribers, which is really cool. Um, I didn't really think one person was going to sit here and watch me work, uh, let alone 500 of you. So I appreciate that. Appreciate the views and you guys coming along on our journey. So... <laughs> See you guys next weekend. Bye. Bye. Like and subscribe button. What was that? What were you saying? Nothing. Nothing.
Not smashing? You missed it. There will be no smashing. What are we smashing? No smashing. Smash that like button.